So with those caveats being laid out there at the beginning, let's jump in with the definition of an order follower. What exactly is an order follower by definition? An order follower is a person who does what someone else commands them to do and who has therefore attempted to abdicate their free will and their personal responsibility for choosing their own actions based upon correct determination of the morality or immorality of a particular behavior. That is the definition of what an order follower is and does. You can't give me the right to be a human being. I'm with that right. Now you can keep me from having that if you've got all the policemen and all the jobs on your side. Welcome and thank you for joining me for this body cam footage from the Pullman, Washington Police Department. This is one of the first eight citations given between August 27th and August 30th, 2020 for violating King Inslee's decree limiting gatherings to 10 or less people who must also be masked if they can't be six feet apart. There have been a few of these body cams from the initial eight released by North Idaho Exposed and myself already. Links to all those are in the description below. I encourage you to go check them out on 3Speak, a censorship fighting video platform that offers a great crypto based alternative to YouTube. This body cam footage is a little different for a couple of reasons. Number one, this is the first instance where policy violators were not students of Washington State University. This is an apparent block party or at least a gathering of neighborhood friends. I know in this new normal our masters want us living in. A community of people wanting to share ideas and experiences with each other and create bonds is a very dangerous thing. The people of a community conversing with each other might make them realize the ruling class is unnecessary. The second thing about this infraction is the fine is $150 while all of the Washington State University students receive $250 fines. I'm going to stop the video as I watch it with you a couple of times to break the situation down and give you some insight on what's going on. Keep in mind when I do, I believe in the non-aggression principle. If no one has been hurt, no property has been damaged or stolen, and no one has been defrauded, then no force, or in this case extortion, backed with the threat of force, should be used against us to gain compliance. I also don't support any known liars, aka politicians, or their cronies having a higher claim to anyone else's life than they themselves do. If you don't want to hear my interruptions, a full unedited version of this is on my DTube channel, another cryptocurrency based alternative to agenda pushing YouTube, and a link to that is also in the description. While you're watching, don't forget to hit the like button, reblog and share this video on all your social media, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave me a comment. Hello, are you the property owner? No, but I'm Judge White. Are you? Did someone call in? They did. Who called in? Uh, I'm surprised. What was her name, Meg? Mm, maybe. Fuck her. I hate um, that girl. Okay, what do we have to do? Who's, who's the property owner? Um, I don't see her right now. Can you Can try and look? Huh? Can we no, we okay. can't. Oh, okay, come here. If it was your guys' house, I'd have to get an agency assist from WSU, but... I'm stopping this here for an important reason. This woman just said, I'm Doug's wife. And now, just a few moments later, this Pullman policy enforcer is telling her if this party were at her house, he'd have to call in a different agency. Hmm. This must mean her husband, Doug Anderson, or herself, works for the city of Pullman and more than likely is a policy enforcer himself. A little research, and I found that not only is her husband a senior officer with the Pullman Police Department, who as she later admits happens to be in his house right now across the street from this nuisance party, but the chief of the Pullman Policy Enforcement Division also happens to live about a dozen houses away and his house overlooks this cul-de-sac. I just find it ironic that the chief enforcer and a senior enforcer are so close to this nuisance party that must be broken up. A party which any person with common sense would think at least enforcer Doug Anderson knows about since his wife is there and it's across the street from his own house. 
Before we get back to it though, I want to give you an introduction to Pullman corporate policy enforcer Doug Anderson. This clip stems from an incident that occurred in 2016. WSU student Kyle North claims in his lawsuit against the Pullman Police Department, two of its officers broke his arm, choked, and tased him. I requested the police report documents and body camera footage from officers Doug Anderson and Michael Sontgraff. Moments later, Officer Doug Anderson arrives. You can see from his body camera a clearer view of the student. He appears shifty and nervous, repeatedly telling the officers he's concerned for his safety and looking for his friend. Earlier, officers mentioned to each other Moscow police were looking for North on a welfare check. When they asked North if he'd been in Moscow with his friend earlier that evening, he became defensive. Were you in Moscow earlier tonight? Why are you asking? I don't know. Why was oh, it surprising no, that no, I would ask? No, no, no. I mean, why do you want to know? Then, the student walked to the counter telling the officers he's confused. At one point, it seems like he's talking to himself or hearing voices. The officers repeatedly asked North to move away from the counter. That's when the situation escalated. Here you can see Officer hurt, Anderson right? holding him down with his hands behind his back. This may be where North's arm broke and his elbow dislocated. The struggle between North and two officers continues for some time as he resists being put in handcuffs. They help North stand up, but again he tries to get away and falls into an office doorway. You can hear the officers a couple times warning the student he will get tased if he doesn't listen to their commands. You're going to get tased in a second. Knock it off. Then they tase him. Get out. Get out. They stand him up again, and from Officer Sotgarath's body camera, you can see North in a chokehold. Paramedics eventually arrive and take North to Pullman Regional Hospital. We reached out to Pullman Police for a statement about what is seen in the body camera footage. They referred us to their lawyers. It seems he cost the city a decent amount of money while enforcing policy on a supposedly free student from Washington State. Judging by the neighborhood, it apparently didn't hurt him much. That must be why the department is issuing $250 tickets to students and only $150 tickets to these middle to upper middle class collaborators. I mean, they have to make up for that money order follower Anderson cost the corporation a couple years ago. Okay, Sammy! <laughs> Sammy! 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 Okay. You're the property owner, apparently. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you live here? I do. Okay, you mind if I just chat with you for a second? So we had somebody call in um, about not social distancing and the gathering and stuff like that. So, you know, we're, we're taking an education approach the best way we can. Um, unfortunately, our directive is to write tickets to those who aren't abiding by that because there's been a massive public outcry, and we're doing that with all the students up on the hill and things like that. Um, is there any way we could go about... Can we having masks and social distancing sure. and stuff like that because it's sure. gatherings over 10. Sure, it's everybody in the neighborhood, so we can just tell everybody to go get their masks. So, yeah. so what if, what if we? Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you the same advice I give everybody else. Okay. okay? Um, we're pretty much in between a rock and a hard place when it comes to the community and stuff like that. The, really, the key is out of sight, out of mind. So. Um, backyard or in the house would definitely be better um, cause every, with everybody out front, cars passing by. I know it's not a well-traveled road by any means, yeah. but ultimately it's kind of where we're at with everything. Okay. I'm stopping this briefly again. What this policy enforcer is saying is we have mob rule here in Pullman. If a group of people, regardless of its size, makes enough noise, they can decide what activities that don't hurt anyone else, damage or steal anyone else's property, or defraud anyone else are okay. Then they use corporate policy enforcers to show up with their monopolized force from the state and coerce compliance through extortion or threats of violence and or aggression for future violations. You just have to love this freedom democracy provides, right? I mean, mob rule. Um, do you have an idea on you? I do in my oh. in my house. Here, what, I, what happens like what if what if half of the people were in this neighbor's? Would that be better? So if you or in my or in my driveway, would so that be better? It's not like one or the other. So like, if you're 
below 10 and have masks and adequately social distancing, obviously that would be fine. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, like, definitely in between a rock and a hard place. No, 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 gosh, I know. I'm saying what's, what's going to make it easier on you? Um, honestly, like... What do you want What do you want us to do? I know it's a beautiful, nice day that we'd all love to enjoy, but like I said, out of sight, out of mind is kind of the key. So it's you the guys same be thing. like backyard, inside? Yes, ideally. Like, that would be a much better situation. Okay. Just because... Meg sucks. I mean, I hate doing this. No, gosh, we... Believe me, I know. Doug's inside right now. I know where you're at. Yeah. Like, none of these people are blaming you, for sure. But, well, I hope not. And I hope you can pass that word along that, like, our hands are tied. We have certain direction 100%. we're given from the chief right now. And, no, um, we know. We know. You know, we, we have a job we have to do. He just said, like, if we could, like, be inside, backyard. Out of sight, out of mind. We can go to my huge. house. Hey, Susie, well, go Tammy's, to my house. Tammy's invited that we yeah. go into her house. And if we have not, go to my house, too. Go to my house. Like, if Cam doesn't want us to that. Tammy has said, please, like, come okay. in upstairs, downstairs. We've got room. Okay, we'll take care of it. Okay. And you can you can tell Meg. We anger even more. I'm not going to call her. I don't <laughs> no, even think she don't. requested a phone call, but no. I know but it's been know exactly. with the dogs and all that. Well, and... she's called the cops on us. I mean, she calls cops on my kids when they're in the hot tub past him. So we know, but no. People get bored sometimes and uh, have nothing better to do. Thank you. We'll take care of this. Okay. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Nope. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I appreciate your... Pullman, 440.9. The year of birth is 6-4. So, Mary, do you mind if I chat with you just for a second? So, um, I really do appreciate you guys making it better and doing all this kind of stuff based on the guidance we were given and being, um, in violation. I got to give you a ticket today. I hate to do it. Okay. I'll be honest, but I do have to do it. Okay. okay. Um, so just to guide you through, it's going to be what's called for it for a nuisance party. It's an infraction. It's like getting a traffic ticket. Okay. okay. Um, and I'll explain it to you and give you some options on that ticket. Essentially it's, um, it's a fine, okay? okay? And um you have the option to pay that fine or take it to court. You have multiple options and I'll explain them all to you, okay? The guidance I was given from the higher ups is that um that's something that we have to be doing if people aren't abiding by the, the, the proclamation right now. So instead of going to the route and find them in violation of the proclamation, which is a misdemeanor, which seems excessive to our command, we're just taking the taking the road of doing infractions and making it a civil penalty not something that follows you around on your record or anything like that it'd be essentially uh, around the equivalent of like not wearing a seatbelt where you're driving does that make sense sure. okay um so if you want um i can fill that out you don't got to hang around with me you can go back and talk to talk to people or go inside or do whatever you want to do and i'll recontact you here in a minute okay, okay. do you have any questions about no, that uh -huh. okay i'll be right back with okay. you okay All right. Sorry, I hate being the party police. It's not not the most fun job to be ruining people's fun. Um, I'll hand you this back. Um, this is the citation here. It's a civil penalty, like we talked about. It's the, you know the basic equivalent of getting pulled over and getting a traffic ticket. Um, so your information is going to be up top here. Um, my name and badge number is right here. Date of offense. Basically, it's a Pullman City Code. It falls under a violation of a cease and disperse order. It's the same thing as we call a first offense nuisance party. Um, it's a civil penalty. It's $150. You do have options here. Right here, you can read. Um, basically, you can pay it. You can go to a mitigation hearing, or you can test it in court, okay? You have that option. Um, I would do it within 
a reasonable amount of time, probably a couple weeks or so. Otherwise, there's a potential that they could talk, you know, call you and talk to you. And I think with the city code ones, they can't suspend your license, but I don't know what avenue they'll go about. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact the court right here at this number, or this is the website for them. Do you have any questions about I this don't. today? No, I don't. Okay, I'll leave you with this. Okay. I hope you have a better rest of your day. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to do stuff in the future, my suggestion is inside or backyard, out of sight, out of mind completely. Thanks. Have a better rest of your day, okay? Thanks for supporting my channel and work. Links to all the platforms you can find questionable authority on are in the description below. And there's lots of ways to help me grow and dedicate more time to this channel. Of course, links to PayPal, Dash, Bitcoin, and others are listed. But you don't have to part with your capital to support me. There are ways like downloading the privacy-minded Brave browser using my link below and using it for 30 days, or sign up for a new Hive or Steam account and earn cryptocurrency for yourself for doing what you already do on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and at the same time, I'll earn crypto for your upvotes and comments.